What is that you're swinging around, Mr. Wizard? Well, it's a sort of an old-fashioned doorbell. And did you notice any change in the sound as I was swinging it? Yeah, it kept getting higher and lower and softer and yeah. louder. Well, the higher and lower part is due to a, what is called the Doppler effect after a scientist who investigated it. So come on inside. Let me see if I can explain it to you. Okay. I assume we recognize these, Daniel. Yeah, it looks like a chain and a right. sprocket from the bike. Right. I have it connected to a motor so that the chain goes down here at a regular rate goes down around the pulley and comes back up again. Now that's gonna represent sound waves where the sound source and the receiver are not moving. This, so hold up this can like this, so that nail I have soldered in the end, you know, makes the sound. Same rate. Right. You can hear the beat, at least, of the chain links as they go by. You know, hold it nice and steady. Keeps the same beat. Right. Now, this time, this time, we can't move the sound waves because they're going at a regular rate. So you move the, this represents your ear. You move toward the sound this time. Go okay. up. First of all, establish the regular beat. Okay, now go up. It goes faster. Yeah, you see how they come faster? And if that were the sound waves coming from a bell and it was moving toward you, the sound waves would get faster, faster. which means they get higher in pitch. And what happens when they go away from you then? Slower. All right. And lower. Let's try that. First establish the regular rate and then move away from the sound source. See how they slow down? They go slower. Yeah. In fact, it's very sensitive. In this case, you can tell whether you're moving away or toward the sound just by the frequency. Now, this I said was Doppler. Remember the Doppler, Doppler effect? He was the scientist that investigated. And not only is it true of sound, but it's also true of light. In fact, a scientist, when they measure the light from the stars, find that it's shifted toward the red or the long waves, and so they assume that the star is going away because the star is moving, right? Now, one part of the experiment which we haven't done yet, we're going to try it with a car and see if it works. I'm going to stand you along the sidewalk, and I'll get in the car and turn on the horn and drive toward you. You hold up your hand. If you hear the pitch go up, raise your hand, and if you hear the pitch go down, lower your hand. Okay?